So currently, the, in the technology preview that we're showing, the FS HDR is capable of outputting hybrid log gamma as well as HDR10. So the FS HDR is built on the lineage of the FS range from AJA and obviously the FS range is really your Rosetta Stone, your Swiss Army knife if you prefer, uh, in your rack. It's video in, video out and then all the kind of conversions you need in between, embedding audio, disembedding audio, moving things between fiber, changing formats, anamorphic, 4.3 up down conversion and cross conversion so the frame synchronizer products are super popular um, we have built that range up to a product called the fs4 which takes into account both 4k and uhd conversion all the way from sd so really powerful so as a baseline we've taken that technology and in partnership with colorfront who we've been working for for a long time over our kona platform uh, for editing and monitoring for uh, color correction We've chosen to work with them and their Colorfront engine, and by combining the two together, uh, we've come up with FS HDR, and this is the product that we are now showing as a technology preview. So all the things I'm gonna talk about are really in and around that preview. Some of that is speculative, of course. But what the main point of this product is to do is to take either SDR to HDR, to take one format of HDR to another, or to take the existing log gamma formats, which are out there, things like ARRI log, things like S-Log3 from Sony, and transition those, transpose those inside of the hardware in real time to the correct HDR format for your needs or to reflect accurately on the monitor that you're using during that process. So that's the main point of this device, just like the original FS products, is to take one thing in and turn it into another thing. So we're doing that in both HDR to HDR, so maybe the case is here you have hybrid log gamma and you wish to have HDR10 or vice versa, we can do that transposition. We think as well that in the short term you will probably see more SDR content still having to be produced. So in this case, a piece of HDR content which has been produced from end to end can be produced into, transposed into two other different H, uh, uh, HDR formats, but also importantly, give you the SDR master that you need for your requirements. Okay, so we believe that in the HDR10 world, a lot of the content that's being created there is in uh, the uh, perceptual quality end of it. So this means we'll be supporting PQBT2020 at 1,000 nits, also PQP3D65 at 1,000 nits as well. Hybrid log gamma support with BT2100, Sony's S gamma 3, as S log 3 as you may know it, and also ARRI log uh, with its wide color gamma, Panasonic V log, Red's Log 3G10 Wide Gamma, as well as Canon Log 2. As you've rightly pointed out, it seems likely, at least at this point, that from a broadcast perspective, hybrid log gamma has a great deal uh, going for it in its adoption in that marketplace for exactly the reasons you suggest. In many ways, HDR is much easier full stop to implement for the broadcasters over something like UHD and 4K. And I think it might even be fair to say that most users may see the immediate punch of HDR ahead of the detail of 4K. Although 4K and UHD are certainly going to be important as we move towards better and brighter systems of projection and televisions. So in the meantime, what we may have, as we will always have with these formats, is lots of different people delivering in different formats. And really in the same way that the FS provides you the easy uh, way of transporting, turning SD into HD and HD into 4K and so on, that's really the purpose of the box in the short term. I believe that people will still want to deliver in different formats, and in which case any facilities house, anybody operating uh, playback or dailies in those environments, depending on a mix, whatever people are getting in, they're able to then use the FS to provide that FS HDR to provide real-time conversion uh, within the facility without having to then contact the client, send it back and say, no, you can't bring that in. Despite broadcasters offering very robust and rigid systems of uh, the way that they want content delivered to them, there is always something they're going to need that might not be in the right format at the last minute. And in, a, in the case of using the FSHDR, at least it gives them the confidence of a real-time transition. They know it's right. They can just output that, have it captured, and see that transition, that transposition take place in real time. I mean, that gives them great confidence. But definitely, I feel like these parts are very much moving around. There are 
even subsets within the current versions of the HDR formats that we're seeing. And of course, above and beyond that, there are other formats, branded formats, things like Dolby Vision, which carry with them a huge, a larger overhead of metadata as well. And all of that complexity is still yet to be decided. The FS HDR is a technology preview, so at this point we don't have any specific pricing that we wish to share and we would also say that the product itself is coming soon. I would hope to see it in summer, but we would definitely like to say it's coming soon. We realise that, as we said before, HDR is happening and it's likely to happen a little quicker than 4K for everybody, so we want to bring that product to you as soon as we can.